A solar eclipse is one of the most mind-bending natural events you can witness in your lifetime. Come with us as we travel from New York to Cleveland to experience the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Time to hop in our truck camper, grab some breakfast, and leave New York. Welcome to Dirty Jersey, the Garden State. We call it the Garden State because it's got dirt in it. It's Dirty Jersey. During our eight hour trip, we saw many signs just like this. Because we decided to travel last minute, we either couldn't find or couldn't afford the crazy hotel prices in downtown Cleveland. I have family in Cleveland, so we were able to snag a awesome parking spot right in front of my where my aunt lives. And we spent a surprisingly tranquil night sleeping here, so we are headed off to the bus now to go to downtown Cleveland. The sky is blue, there's no clouds, we're super excited. Hopefully the weather stays like this all day. Cross your fingers. <laughs> I would definitely recommend getting the transit app uh, if you travel a lot. It actually works in 300 different cities. You can use it in the New York City Metro, LA, Chicago. It also works for the Cleveland bus system. So that is what we are using today. There is no parking signs everywhere, so we are super glad we took the bus. After getting off the bus, we headed to the Great Lakes Science Center for a NASA festival one of dozens of places in and around Cleveland hosting solar eclipse events, and the main reason we wanted to come here. We checked out a bunch of exhibits and cool space equipment before finding a picnic table near Lake Erie and setting up shop for the eclipse. Now's about a good time to try out our solar eclipse glasses. We also got these things from Amazon. They're supposed to go over your iPhone camera so that you can actually see the uh, the eclipse. We'll see if they work. <laughs> it's about one third covered right now, and it's definitely a little darker. Uh, it's kind of eerie because it's been glaring sun all day. So one of the things that we heard was that it gets cooler during the solar eclipse, and we just noticed it is definitely getting cooler. Yo, I gotta put a jacket on. That's how cold it's getting. What's cool about this solar fest that we're at, they actually have a screen that shows the totality. Right now it's complete totality in Dallas, Texas. About three quarters of it is covered right now and the light is just eerie. It's, there's still shadows, but it's really dim. Almost like you, you, you put the dimmer on on your, on your light at home and it's cold. I love it. Oh my god, it's so close. <laughs> it's like this tiny little sliver. <laughs> Look at the crowd is like so excited. If you look around, it looks like it's dusk. Like it just, it looks like it's, you know, like the sun just set like 20 minutes ago. Like look at that. The sun is coming back out again. And look how bright it's already gotten. 
people are clapping like like we are thankful for this sun it is the nature of humans that people like to leave early and the thing is still eclipsing because it's moving out of the eclipse now so there's kind of like a a little cheshire cat kind of smile up there and like half of this place is emptying out like come on like the eclipse, there's another half of the eclipse to go honestly no photo or video really does this justice. You gotta experience it firsthand. That was unreal. I keep using the word unearthly, and that is not a word that you kind of use for a lot of stuff, but that is literally what that was, literally and figuratively, unearthly. And everybody knew it was gonna get dark. Everyone knew there was gonna be a crone. Everyone saw pictures of it, but I think it's not until you actually see it that you're just, it is just amazing. I can totally understand now why people become eclipse chasers. Like once isn't enough. You start chasing it around the world, going to other countries just to see this thing. Like it is incredible. Hopefully you were fortunate enough to be in the path of totality and had great weather. We'll see you on the trails or in the water. Lucy, what did you think of the eclipse? Did you sleep the whole way through it? I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>